So people, if I told you there's a move in the backswing that sets off an incredible chain reaction into your downswing and your entire motion without thinking, you'd probably be pretty interested, wouldn't you? Now, this move really does help us turn, tilt. It helps transfer the speed of the club to the speed of the body, getting everything to collect, to create really that freedom of motion. It's such an important part with great ball striking, not getting stuck and be able to move through the ball and compress it and hit great golf shots. Guys, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. World Class Golf Instruction, we're helping so many people. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Let's get stuck into this video, because I dare say it's gonna be one of the more important videos that you've ever seen. So people, the first area here in this move in the backswing is getting the lead thigh, the lead knee to work underneath us while keeping your head still. All right, very simple. Let's have a look at this. If I get a line up over the golf ball here and I swing back, keep my head still and I just get my lead thigh, lead knee to get really close to that line. What it does is it lines up my left side a little bit. Let's have a look at that. Get the lead thigh, the lead knee, to work inwards and toward, towards the golf ball with a centered head. Now it's like it creates resistance. It's such a great feeling. It's like now I have a bit more time in my swing rather than things extending and kicking and moving out. We're drawing the lead thigh under and the head is still. Now the next part of this is the right leg and getting this right leg to draw back. And Greg Norman talked about it, didn't he? He was a, one of the guys that says, like a piston drawing this right side. For you guys early extending, once you get this hip back, this lead thigh under you, you've got some time here. You've got some space. But what it does really is the lead thigh moving under and the head still creates really good tilts. Drawing back the right side helps you turn. Let's have a look at this before we have a look at some evidence-based instruction and how we can practice it. So if I get my lead thigh to work underneath me, my lead knee, and I keep myself centered, the lead hip will lower. The right hip's higher, drawing this side back. Now, the advantages here is in the downswing, because of the angle the belt's on, we're gonna be moving more downwards and forwards, creating pressure and lateral shift. Head still, left thigh under, drawing this right side back. We call it symmetrical knee work. What it is, is the amount that the lead knee goes forwards, the right knee draws back. Drawing this side back as this thigh goes underneath us and it collects, it helps us transfer the speed of the club to the speed of the body and gives us space and power. Your tilts, your turns, all in one packet. Guys, let's have a look now at some evidence-based instruction. Before I show you how you can practice this, get this into your swing, this is a no-brainer and will improve everybody's ball strike. So people, right, let's have a look at some evidence-based instruction here. Left knee, right knee, left knee, right knee. Now this is really interesting. We're going to look at some of the best players of all time here. And uh, before we move on to some great drills and exercises, now I've drawn a line directly up over the golf ball. So just bear with me for a second. I think you're going to find this very interesting. We're going to call that the wall. Right, now we're going to get the lead thigh, the lead knee, to get very close to touching this line or to touch it. Now this is not just a great move for young players. This is going to help aging players 40 years or older, really just free up your motion. Right, I'm going to show you that coming up as well. Left leg under and touching the line. And we see the right knee moving in and hitting the wall before the hands get there. Now this is going to give you your sequence, your lateral shift, your tilts, your turns. Really one of the secrets of the golf swing. You know, one of the guys that, one of my favorite motions, one of the guys that does it the best, when you have a look at this, is Lee Westwood. Now the guy was one of the best ball strikers, still is. It's incredible. He's been doing it for so many years. And the left thigh works underneath him. The thing that I like about this is we've got just a great pivot. It's have a look at this left side, how it's all lined up and how centered it is. And because he's made this move, it's all downhill from here. You can see that the right hip's higher than the left. And he's got that classic move of just look at that right side staying back as the left leg gains a little bit in flex. Just a, an amazing goal swing. And we've seen so many great swingers. Oosthuizen has a great pivot. Once again, very centered. See that left side lining up, a la Sam Sneed, as we see Sneed, you know, it was an incredible motion, wasn't it? Look at that. What a pivot that is. And you might not be able to swing back that far, but look, you will be able to get better range of motion. That lead hip's going to move down. The two are average compliments of Dr. Robert Neal and World Class Golf Instruction, who's analyzed 550 pros. It's going to move down about seven centimeters. 
as it moves down underneath you and the right leg straightens. We're just seeing so many players in this position, McElroy, and then the knee hits the wall before it gets it. Now we had even you know, Jack Nicholas there, one of the best ball strikers, telling us what he was working on with the angles rolling in. Don't you how love how the club just falls into the slot there as he does it? So guys, if you want to improve your ball striking, have a look at this move here. Look at this right leg from Dodge Kemmer from the Asian Tour. Look at it deepening. That's symmetrical knee work. All right? I'll just play this swing through. Just have a look at this. The club face control. Oh, how pure is that? Now look at Ben Hogan on, on the left of the screen here. Have a look at this. Symmetrical knee work. Look at that right hip deepening. What a strike. Look at that for a goal swing. Look at the dispersion. It's absolutely unbelievable. Now we've seen there's so many great players in the past draw that right leg back and uh, Lee Trevino landing back in the original shaft plane here. Sam Sneed, another one that uh, with a great leg work moving that right leg back. And it's an interesting one when we're looking at the, the geometry of the goal swing. You know, from this back view, and we can see just extraordinary positions with this lead leg. It's something that's not looked at enough. Now, guys, let's get stuck into some drills and some exercises and get this motor, the, really the engine room of the swing, working properly. If you're after online lessons, if you want to get a swing analyst off me, look at worldclassgolf.com. We have some incredible information. We've got Dr. Robert Neal on there, one of the world's leading biomechanics specialists. So we're working with evidence-based instruction, guys, rather than jumping from video to video work with some facts. All right, let's have a look at some drills and some exercises. So guys, not a bad strike there. Right, let's have a look at this right leg here. This is a great drill, a great feel. This does so many wonderful things, drawing this right side back. It stops early extension, it gives us a head start, and we can really then move into the golf ball like some of the great players of all time. I'm serious here. Let's have a look at this. What we're doing is when you just get to the top of the swing, just feel like you're straight in the right leg. Exaggerate it a little bit. Get it to, it's not completely locked, but very, very straight. And then what we're doing from there is we're just sort of transferring across just a couple of little swings or movements from the top. All right, and this is that movement that we've seen with Hogan and Tiger Woods and so many great players from the top. Once again, just getting, drawing the right side back and they're just moving slightly forwards. You've got plenty of time to turn. All right, and this is, for so many of us out there, a, a room, it gives us room, it helps shallow out the plane for a lot of people as well. It just really helps us get great sequence. Draw it back, it's not completely locked, straightening and then move through the ball. I can't recommend this move enough in your golf swing. So guys, the lead leg here, moving this underneath us. Well, let's have a look at how we can practice it because it's just such a powerful move and uh, brings in so many great things in your swing. Now, when you're doing practice swings and you might be filming them or perhaps looking, in, looking at them in the mirror, they aren't quite as dynamic as when you're hitting. They'll tend to be a bit shorter and some of the moves will be slightly different. But what we're doing is getting this lead hip to work underneath us. And I like just to pop the hand my hand here and, and push that underneath me and as Jack Nicholas said he worked a lot on I'm just exaggerating a little bit here but he worked on rolling his feet and what a great drill that is to stop things from kicking out and kicking out this way how many times do we see people pivoting out that way and the knee flies out but if we're keeping the knees in and rolling on the feet it's a great move you're not swaying off the ball you're staying centered all right, but a great move. So pop the hand on the outside of the thigh, push that back, and you'll get a feeling just by getting your drills in. It might appear when you're doing practice when you're a little bit reverse pivoting, but you won't be when you swing, and your swing will appear a little bit shorter in your practice swings. Left thigh underneath you, push that in here, keep yourself centered, and it'll give you much more time at the top. It'll stop things from moving out towards the ball, which is an absolute disaster. Get stuck into it. A centered head, uh, keeping a really centered head in your backswing is such an important part to really keep great compression. If you can keep yourself really centered, you've got a great chance moving up in the shoulder away is causing troubles. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. 
practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. Join us in the chat room and join the community of world-class golf instruction. Really want to get this right side, extending left side, moving down and keeping a centered head and practicing that. That's going to help you cover the golf ball. Where your head is, is where you're going to tend to hit. So for a lot of the club golfers really being back behind and this shoulder not moving through the wall is one of the major reasons why they cannot get compression. Keep yourself centered, get yourself set up so that your shaft and left arms in one line, you got your left hip over the left ankle and that's going to help a lot of you get through the wall when you keep or make it much easier to move through the wall, keep yourself centered.